doctor on call, I see you. Hi, we've just received a 60-year-old woman here at the emergency department with a suspected sepsis. She has low blood pressure, she's febrile, and she has elevated calcitonin and lactate values. Okay, thank you. Please bring her up to the ICU. Bed 5. The patient, Mrs. Ting, has now arrived at the ICU. From relatives, you learn that Mrs. Ting has suffered from high temperature and productive coughing for three days. She has no prior medical history, and she's a non-smoker. The ABL patient report also gives you the lactate level, which in this case is increased. This is probably caused by hypoxia and hypovolemia. The hypoxia is already being addressed by supplemental oxygen. You begin a structured analysis of the patient report that you've received from the emergency department. The first thing to remember is, of course, no oxygen equals no life. Tic-tac-toe is a simple method to read the patient report quickly and assess if a patient suffers from respiratory or metabolic acidosis or alkalosis. When comparing your report with the reference intervals, you are able to place pH, PCO2, and the concentration of bicarbonate in the corresponding columns. The analysis concludes that this is a case of metabolic acidosis without respiratory compensation. The normal PCO2 is probably due to Mrs. Ting having tried to increase the ventilation of carbon dioxide, but she is fatigued, and the PCO2 is therefore expected to increase over the next hours. Even though Mrs. Ting receives supplemental oxygen, the blood gas analysis reveals that her oxygen level is significantly below the reference interval. Shortly after ICU admittance, intubation and invasive respiratory support is initiated. You need further blood gas assessments to monitor if Mrs. Ting responds to the treatment as expected and to plan further actions in this severe case of sepsis. A new blood gas sample is collected. You collect the blood gas sample from an artery. You place the syringe in the inlet on your ABL analyzer, and shortly after, you receive the patient results. The results give you a clear indication of Mrs. Ting's condition. The patient results show that the ventilation is under control, but there is still a circulatory instability represented by an elevated lactate level, and the hematocrit is elevated as a sign of hemoconcentration which may be a result of a capillary leak. A new physical examination reveals that Mrs. Ting is still peripherally vasoconstricted with prolonged capillary response time. Her low perfusion shows that she is in a critical state. A regimen of intravenous fluid management is therefore initiated. During the next two hours, the mean arterial pressure is slowly increasing. The fluid therapy has a positive effect. Another blood gas sample is collected and analyzed. Several blood gas analyses are performed in order to closely monitor the effect of the treatment. By way of the repeated blood gas analyses, Mrs. Ting has been provided rapid therapy and is slowly getting better, but she is still critically ill. Based upon the patient report and the clinical examination, it became clear that Mrs. Ting needed to be admitted to the ICU immediately. The report also revealed how she responded to different oxygen supplements and the need for and effect of the fluid therapy. Using the ABL analyzer enabled you to make an early tentative diagnosis and implement a targeted therapy. It also allowed you to follow the effect of your treatment. Watch the other case videos to see how the ABL blood gas analyzer can aid in the diagnosis of diseases.